everyone. If is the new summer comedy directed by John Krasinski and stars Ryan Reynolds, Kaylee Fleming, John Krasinski, and a whole bunch of imaginary friends. And yes, this is my movie review reboot because, hey, this is a kid's movie and it deserves a positive and upbeat review. So here we go. And if you like this review, please do remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because you will make my day. Thank you. If is a story about a little girl who has already lost her mother and now her dad's sick too. So she goes to stay with her grandmother while her dad is in the hospital getting his treatment. And she stumbles across this quirky group of incredible beings that she soon discovers are imaginary friends or ifs who are forgotten by the children who created them. And if they don't find new kids, they're afraid they will disappear forever. If is an incredibly sweet film about love and loss and how we tend to push away those we care about most, as well as those who care about us when we experience these great moments of pain and sorrow. There is magic within the story that makes this film special because it reminds us that life is full of potential and wonder if only we allow ourselves to see it. It also stars one of my favorite people, Ryan Reynolds, who is the human embodiment of joy and sarcasm and wonder, all mashed up into a human-sized frame. And I couldn't imagine a better person to fill the role of Calvin, the strange man who is trying to help the imaginary friends find new kids. So despite a few little flaws, such as, I don't know, it lingered a little long in a couple scenes, and it was a little bit predictable here and there, the film is actually really well put together, well paced, and it sets up the mystery of the ifs in a fun and imaginative way that is designed to dazzle your mind. I think that they also did a great job with the variety of imaginary friends. And I love how these creatures come into being. As an adult watching the film, if really does feel like a walk down memory lane, full of magic and mystery and a host of oddball characters who are a varying degree of funny, quirky, and cute. What I loved most about If is that it brought me back to my own childhood, making it a terrific film for people of all ages. If is a great film to kick off the summer, especially if you see it in a Dolby cinema with surround sound. I think families are really going to enjoy it because the story has depth and embraces some really hard moments the kids have to face. And we also get to see all of the characters having to confront their own fears, even the imaginary ones. And that's how they kind of get through the pain. It's a little bit silly and it's a little bit funny and it's a little bit sad, but all in the right way and all to the right degree. However, this is definitely a comedy and there are some great jokes. There are these great moments of slapstick and some great gags that come off really well on screen because, hey, Brian Reynolds and John Krasinski know how to land a joke. So if, have you seen it? What did you think? And are you planning to go see it? If you do, definitely come back and let me know what you thought. And remember, if you like this review, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because there are more coming. And if you want to see my original review, which is just a little bit sad, I will link to it for you. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. And I will see you all again soon. In the meantime, happy viewing. Bye.